shakes. The way your name is written, my brother. I was talking to Bulalan and I saw XE Shake. It shakes. All right, he is the founder of Foodies ZA and many other businesses in by show of hands, those of you in events, entertainment. You have a business, not that you are in, but you have a business, you know, because we are all in, but all right. <laughs> he's popularly known. He's a radio presenter. Uh, he's a club DJ. He's a director of Sheikh's Kumalo Events and Promotions, which is responsible for the now defunct Manawung Beach Party. His company is also responsible for Picnic in the North Events, PITN, under which annual PITN Met Gala and PITN Clarence get away for. He regards himself as a hospitality and management entrepreneur. He's with us in the building. My brother, the stage is yours. Please can we put our hands together for Sheikhs Kumalo. of all so I've always been the person who likes taking risks and trying new things so now even being someone doing events um, I've moved away from from actually doing doing parties what I'm doing now is experiences so in December every year from three years ago I take people to Clarence for a weekend something undone before in fact I was the first black person to, to do an event in Clarence at the square, fighting Lema Hua Barrett. You know what I'm saying? So for me, someone will also ask a question about longevity in the industry that I'm still today a DJ, emceeing at events and doing events. So, so we have people who want to get into this space for the wrong reasons and they can't stick around long because in the first place, you went into it for the wrong reasons. So I made a choice early when I, I was starting that I want to be a brand and I want to take my craft seriously and be respected. So there's this thing about you having to work hard enough to not have to go to places and say your name. They must know who you are, you know? So I've taken my craft seriously that I work with people that I don't even have to send proposals anymore, but I can call them and say, I'm doing one, two, three, and they will help and support because they know my work. So it's very crucial how you carry yourself and how you work with other people, you know? So the last thing you want is when your name is being mentioned in boardrooms, they're talking ill things about you. So we should be wary of that even in, in, in business, right? So from events, then I got into the business of opening a club, naturally so because I was in that space and I've seen a couple of faces here who were my, my victims on the dance floor at some point, you know? Um, <laughs> you know, I made them dance. Um, so then I opened the Ivy Lounge, which I left after two, two years, just before COVID. And then I dipped into restauranting as well, Food is Club, with the idea that every time when you want to buy African food, you have to go either Kokasi or far from town. So then I brought an offering where I was saying that, why can't we have a fancy place offering our food? Why do we have Chinese restaurants, Indian restaurants, but African restaurants in town Name one fancy one now. There's none. Then I went further and I called Mr. Delivery to say, I want to have Malamukhodi on Mr. Delivery. They said, oh, what? I'm like, yes. And people bought it. We are the majority, but we mostly eat Western food here. Not our own food. You know what I'm saying? So I've, I've got into travel. Wherever I go, I like observing and see what other people are doing. I think Doc mentioned something about value earlier. Some, some things that I get into, it's not about passion anymore. It's about the need that is there and seeing an opportunity to make money out of it, right? I was speaking to a friend of mine asking him about Mokaisi in Bloemfontein. 
name three places where you can buy refillable water in your in your neighborhood none right you, you, you know what i'm saying so what i'm saying is some things is you seeing the need to say let me do this because the are hal not because it's something which is fancy there's a place in town um willows i think it's called henko that that man is selling refillable juice refillable milk and he's selling ice cream things we need every day but you come with your own container because it's cheaper like that imagine that in the hood you've got kids going to school they want the juice every day why can't you do it a tank with the tap milk you buy it it's cheaper it's not branded you know what i'm saying so so for me um i believe in the idea also of diversifying your income and being diverse on other things so what kb said earlier when someone asked if he can print i never say you know if someone asks me can you do catering yes because i know kamoto is a caterer i speak to her i get my commission she gets paid everybody made money so i'm not saying you must go and say you can dj though you must call me you can't say yeah i can dj <laughs> you know what i mean so sometimes it's not even about um you doing it physically but you can get someone to do it you know what i'm saying so i don't do construction tattoos here if kb offers me to build a school i'm gonna call her and i'm gonna get paid for just liaising or being in between of the deal that's how it works but often we want to block other people because yeah no i'm you know what i'm saying it sh should not be like that so now i believe in in collaborations in in sharing ideas so you have the thing of some people wanting to own 100 percent of whatever they're doing and say this is mine but the returns are this much but if you had a partner it could be this big so don't 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 be um afraid sometimes of talking to other people to actually help you start what you want to do so uh I don't know if you guys know Razor Square before it was demolished. I opened a sneakers and caps cleaning shop there because I love my sneakers and, and, and my caps, right? And then, so I met a guy who's also into doing other things at a workshop like this. And I spoke to him about it. And then he, his, his advice to me was avoid going to a place where you must pay rent because it's a small business. We took a container, put it there, did other things, clothing, and that service it was booming you know what i'm saying i had players uh, soccer players and rugby guys bringing like 30 pairs of their sneakers to be washed because it takes time to wash your sneakers so because i loved mine and i was like but how do i solve my own problem then i opened the shop to clean the sneakers you know what i'm saying so so i've seen also in other towns where people literally take what they do so seriously no matter how small it is because if you want to be taken seriously, mention Shakes' his name when you talk about events, best events. When you say the best DJ, I want my name to be mentioned because I take my craft seriously. So whether you're doing hair or you're doing nails or whatever the case might be, if you are the best at what you do, you will be respected and your name will come up all the time when that has to happen. You know what I'm saying? When we talk about who we need uh, with, with the, your service, for example. So I'm an advocate of really... Um, sharing ideas with people um we need mentors i heard someone earlier saying they want they want a mentor right sometimes it happens that we meet the wrong people you know you'll hear the you'll hear the word ah they knocked me it happens and then we learn and we get up and move right so now i don't believe i learn anything from winning but from losing i learn a lot so covid happened some of us lost we saw flames as, as doc said and it's, it's serious. So being an entrepreneur is not the easiest thing that people make it look like or it's fancy. It's a lot of work. You have to pay yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to work for yourself to wake up in the morning. Every day go work for yourself so you can make the money. That's how it is. So never think that your idea is, is dumb or... One, two, one, two. Okay. So for me, I believe the weirder the idea is, the better. Don't think normal things. So now I think crazy things all the time. I got to go to Cape Town about three weeks ago. And like I said, I love observing. I went to this beautiful wine event 
that they had at some restaurant there. And I came back to Bloom knowing that I want to open a wine, a winery, a wine place. I already have a name, by the way. It's going to be called The Wine Room ZA. In West Dean, I found the venue already for it. Where you go in for an experience of, if you love wine, it's something different. So when I talk about experience, I'm saying to you, there is no use of us coming to KLK. It looks beautiful, but the experience is bad. No. So whatever that you do, whatever that you sell, if I'm going to, your, to do nails by your place, I walk in there, you give me a glass of JC Leroux. That's an experience. I will never forget you. I'm going to come back again. So try not to be like everyone else. It's okay to be different and to think wild things. It's okay. Don't ever be like saying, I'm going to hold back. I don't believe in that. So I've done things that when I look back now, I'm like, why would you want to do a beach party in Bloom where there's no beach? But girls came in the wore bikinis. I don't know why, but they did. I'm not complaining either. They came. So the idea worked. So in eventing, for example, I can turn this room into for a snow party. You get the props. Get lighting. This can be different from what it is now. You know what I'm saying? So anything is possible. Um, and, and for me, I feel like really, I'm open to anyone who wants help. Uh, not about money, though. I don't have money. Um, advice, uh, because I've worked with the likes of SAB and Vodacom for like over 10 years. Because of what I've built, my report has, is speaking for itself now. That's very important. So if you are into eventing and you want to go to NetBank and say to them, please support me, I'm going to give you exposure. No. They are bigger than, this is a big brand. They do big billboards and adverts on TV. You can't give NetBank um, exposure. But if you go to them and say, we are doing tea like now, then they see value. Then they col collaborate with you. So never be scared of wanting to actually work with people and collaborate. Collaborate if you can. It is up stress and you learn from each other and you have support structure. Skava staring but over only one. You know? So now with my journey I've met I've met good and bad people and it's okay. You know? KB, I don't know if, if, if he owes me, probably he does later because Ukila Noga, I think. <laughs> probably. You know, so it's okay to meet people that will screw you over. You get up and learn, forget about them, move on, do your thing. And no one will ever steal your idea. If it's yours, only you can make it work. They can try it. All right. So if, if you want to go open the wine room um, without me, go, go good luck to you. Uh, I've got the blueprint already. You know what I'm saying? Um, so in, in, in conclusion, what I'd like to say is that also we have this thing that we underestimate as ourselves, as locals. In Bloom, I grew up here, I know. In Bloom, Fountain, Ranyatan. Like, ah, shakes. You know what I'm saying? So you want to only listen to someone who says, the, who's from out of town to come speak to you. So you can't have a Houten person tell you how to do business in Bushavel. This is your hood. You should know better. You know what I'm saying? So, but Taban from NYDA, back in the days, they used to have someone approving applications for Free State sitting in Joburg, which I was against totally. He knows, you know. But now things have changed because we are localizing things now. Even local, even big brands want to work with local people that you can meet and speak to, not have like someone as an influencer, Mishali, because she's hot. No, no. We're doing local, 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 you know, brands and collaborations as we should help each other. So you make clothes. You address me, we can talk, you know? So let's work together, let's collaborate and make magic and make money. Thank you so much.